What's up you guys? I'm really excited to show you today how I edit my Instagrams. A lot of you have been asking about this and I try and keep a fairly cohesive theme. You know, if I have a picture of a friend at college that I want to post but their outfit doesn't like fit the color scheme of my theme, I will show you some apps and techniques I use to fix it so it will fit the theme and just some features to enhance all of your photos and make your pictures look even better. So let's get started. I'll show you my Instagram at the moment and right now I have a bit of a theme going on but beforehand I didn't so you can see through out here it's still has some bit of cohesiveness once you get up to here is when you kind of start seeing a theme so mine is like fairly bright I try and keep a lot of contrast in all my pictures and add an element of white so it keeps it looking very clean. I'm going to show you the apps I use. I am all in this folder and I'll have all of the links down below. First one I wanted to show you is Unum. And this, it looks like it's just Instagram. It's not. You can upload a photo to see if it fits your Instagram theme. And also has a little analytics tool so you can see what your best times are for posting. So it's just like when you get the most likes and comments. I'm just going to go through and edit one photo with you so you can see how I do it. The first thing I'm going to do is go into Visco, which is what I use for filters. So this is the photo I'm going to edit and I'll show you what it looks like on my Instagram. I've already posted it, but I'll show you how I edited it. So obviously it's very like pink and colorful and my theme is very clean and white. The filter I pretty much always use now is called HB1. It's a really good one. It adds like a bit of a gray tone to it. It lightens things up. And for pictures where there's like me in it or like people in it, I will do less of HB1 just because it really pales you out. But for pictures that are like this where it's just a still shot, then I will use the entire filter. Save it. Here is the picture with the filter on it and I'm in Darkroom which is one of my favorite, favorite apps. You can take out certain colors, saturation, or you could increase the saturation. So let's say that you really like very colorful photos or you just like to have one certain color that's emphasized on your theme. But you can make it more red or less red. But I personally liked a tiny bit of the red left. So I would do that. You can increase the luminosity or decrease it. And in here I'll increase the brightness and contrast I always do that in like still shots I really like amp up the contrast what I'll do is I'll also add a little bit of sharpness to it or I'll use facetune or snapseed but for this one I'm going to use snapseed the feature I use is the brush tool and what you can do is you can change the exposure make things brighter like that you see how I'm just like amping up that brightness. You can decrease saturation on like certain items, not just certain colors like you can in darkroom, but if you wanted to just desaturate this pink, so you could do that. But you can desaturate the background if you have like a lot of color in the background and stuff like that. Um, it's just like a really great tool or if you want to increase saturation in certain photos, like if you use a lot of green, you can amp up the greenery in the background. I typically use is like exposure. So I'm gonna go through in the middle of these letters and brighten it just so it looks like white so it's less pink but I do like how that the dark pink contrast um lightness I just thought that this was more visually appealing with a little bit of color left in it you can see there that's a lot more neutral I'm going to leave that there I'm not going to do anything else with Snapseed I'm going to go into Facetune which I use Facetune a lot I use Facetune for more than just like Whitening teeth, which I definitely do, especially in a group photo, I'll whiten all of our teeth and smooth our skin a little bit, but not in a way that it looks different than who we are, just in a way that makes it look better. My favorite tool though is this details button. So you just click details. What you can do is go, see I'm gonna go around the letters, just highlight this detail because this is really the only focal point of this picture. Obviously there's really nothing else that you need to emphasize. It's just a good way to take your picture a step further and make it even more sharp. And sometimes you don't want the sharpness of all parts of the picture to be like emphasized. I'm gonna show you the before and after for this photo. This is the before. And this is it after. So it just pops a lot more and obviously fits my theme better. There are a lot of options for Facetune that um, are really useful, but you just definitely don't wanna overdo it. What I do is just widen the teeth 
of both of the people in the photo. My converse are really dirty, so I'm gonna whiten those. I'm gonna whiten the shirts. I'm gonna go on the background, whiten. Honestly, anything that's like light colored, I whiten it just because I like how it just really pops. Use my details tool. My necklaces, her necklaces, the t-shirts on our little antennas. So going to zoom into our face and we have like little glitters on and sparkles. I'm going to go back into Visco. Sometimes I won't use the full filter since it does really pale us out, but for this one, it looks good. Dark room. Brighten it up a little bit. Contrast it up a little bit. Increase the sharpness just a tiny bit. And my leggings are super pink and purple, so I'm going to decrease the saturation on those. Ta-da. And that's probably how I would leave that photo. The last app I'm going to show you is Retouch. And I want to show you how you can get rid of things like that. This app is, I think, like $2, but it's really worth it. So this thing does not look cute because we took it in front of a bathroom. So use Object Removal and you just highlight it. And it's gone. Is that not crazy? I really hope this video was helpful. Leave me a comment with your favorite photo editing software or what filters you use. And thanks so much for watching. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.